How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at Destiny 2. Now, Destiny 2 is, to me, one of the most successful live service games out there. It's been going on for a decade, almost a decade right now. Uh, a lot of companies have been trying to replicate its success. And funny enough, Bungie is not one of those companies because their new game is Marathon, which is completely different from what Destiny actually is. Um, from what people have told me is because they want to keep Destiny 2 going and they wanted a new product so as to not cannibalize their audience from Destiny 2. That's why Marathon is mostly PvP, which is not like the main core of Destiny 2. I personally like Destiny 2. Not a huge fan, but it's a game that I've enjoyed. I bought all the expansions all the way till Lightfall and uh, play a little bit of the free week um, that was last week before they launched the new expansion. Now today I have for you a little bit of gameplay. We're going to take a look at the lighting inside the game, uh, the texturing, the environment and all. And for the models, I have player gear. So I have all the armor from the helmet to the boots and I have a couple of weapons, one unique weapon that you want to state all the way till the end of the video to find out which one it is. And with that being said, let's get started. This might be the end. If it is, it was an honor to serve the last city with you. So looking at the game, uh, this game is running on the Tiger engine. It's an engine developed by Bungie, and I think it works fantastic. There is no better shooting mechanics, at least in my opinion. Uh, if you think otherwise, just let me know in the comment section below. But honestly, I think Bungie's uh, shooting mechanics are one of the best, if not the best mechanics. One of the things that is notable about Destiny, I know when Destiny came out back in the day, it looked fantastic. Now it looks a little bit dated compared to other games of today. Now, I, I'm not saying this as a bad thing because there is a reason for what's going on here. So as you can see in Destiny, for the most part, and I'm playing normal, I imagine in, in the higher difficulty, it's probably more enemies. There's a lot of things happening on the screen. You got a lot of enemies walking around a lot of those enemies use a lot of VFX and you got the engrams and everything. You cannot afford to have all that and also have uh, high-end textures and your players have amazing performance. So again, this is one of those things where as a game developer, you take into account, you know, what you want your player base to experience. And in this case, the player base of Bungie, they just want tight shooting mechanics and a game that performs really well because I think overall nobody complains about the performance of Destiny at least in my case I've played Destiny since before I got my current workstation which is very powerful and it has always worked great I've always played over uh, 60 frames per second I'm sure it's also great on consoles as well so this is one of the places where you see well maybe the textures are not the best but the game performs really really well which is one of the things i always say it's better that your game performs well than that your game looks better and performs badly another thing uh, about the lighting situation to me this looks a lot lot like baked lighting which is uh something that i really like i didn't see any ray tracing i don't think i've ever seen any ray tracing in uh destiny's visual options so they're not using any real-time ray tracing which I'm not a fan of ray tracing in video games. I think the amount of performance it takes away from the player doesn't justify whatever eye candy it produces. Uh, however, one of the things that caught my eye is the fact that the weapons and the characters overall do have a little bit more in terms of geometry and texture resolution, which is what we're going to see right now in Blender. We're going to take a look at some weapons and some player gear. All right, here we are in Blender, and as you can see, we have the Prodigal set. I think this armor looks pretty well, and uh, just so you can see it, 
with all of its textures, normal maps and diffuse map, this armor looks pretty, pretty sweet and kind of highlights what I said in the previous section, what I talked about, how the characters were giving the most resolution when it comes to textures, uh, not so much in the environment. And we're going to see that with the weapons later on in this video. One of the things that catches my eye just right off the bat is the fact that this character is kind of low poly. For a character of today, 28,492 realistic uh, looking character. This is very low and that's not a bad thing. It's actually pretty good because these characters look pretty darn good. And as you can see all around this character, the flow, everything is doing amazingly. There are some triangles here and there that are necessary to hold geometry for the baking. That being said, these are hard surface, so it doesn't matter. But overall, you can see that this character looks great. Another thing is you usually see these characters far off because these are like the other guardians that you see on screen. Or um, if you see your character while you are changing your armor. So I don't think there'd be much lower LODs than this, probably a couple just for the characters that are far away. But this, this uh, at least the player character is super optimized. But other than that, well, there is not much beveling around. You can see that most of the bevels are part of the normal maps, but this geometry is, I'm blown away by how low the geometry is. And if I turn off the wireframe, you wouldn't even see it. But that being said, this game is almost a decade old. So that explains the geometry. This game actually came out in September of 2017. And that is why you can see the geometry um, being kind of low because of back in the day. And honestly, there's no reason for them to like revamp the whole characters. You don't have to have bevels for absolutely everything. There's a little bit of a bevel here just so it catches the light, but it's not everywhere. There's also a little bit of beveling right here, but there isn't one right here. So again, that's always that you as a 3D artist or your art director uh, need to decide when you are creating your models. But this is the one that actually breaks the pattern of so far we've had characters that range from like 100 to 200,000 polygons. This one is 28,000, which is fairly low. You can see that it ranges a lot, uh, even though the standard for nowadays is over 100,000, but because of the way that Destiny 2 uh, works, they decided to make it a little bit of a lower poly. So let's go look at some textures. All right, so we have something that we haven't seen before on the UV layout and on the textures. And again, this is why you should subscribe because every game has something different, something cool to discover if you're interested in that sort of thing. So this is the UV space. And as you can see, there's a lot of space that's not being utilized. The middle of the chest is just around here. So where is the rest of it? All the rest of it is in the rest of the armor. We're going to see it later. Uh, with the greaves, you're going to see that the, the greaves or the pants and the boots are actually down here, which is very, very interesting. I've not seen a game do that so far. So if we go and we get out of this and we select everything, you can see that the pants and the boots are actually down here. They're not occupying the whole size of the texture. Now that is not the same for the helmet. As you can see, the helmet has its own full texture right here. It's occupying this whole space. And I think I'm missing a couple of pieces here. So let's me, let me select this whole thing. And you can see all the items are around here unwrapped. Again, this is a very low poly helmet. You can see everything is in that zero to one space, as opposed to what we saw with the torso and the greaves. Same deal when it comes to um, the gauntlet portion. So the gauntlet portion is pretty much your arms. And you can see all the way to the shoulders, everything is unwrapped and packed 
down in this place, but you can see where it ends is a little bit higher. So that's what tells me this texture is not part of the other set because the other set pretty much occupies this whole space, just leaving uh, a little rim right here, which I think it's utilized by other masking textures. There's other maps that I found there that I can't use here in Blender, um, but they are like vertical and I'm pretty sure they are the ones that are occupying this space. So what's interesting about the way that these models are put together is the gloves uh, are on a completely separate file than the rest of the armor. Actually, when you bring in the, the whole gauntlet, it doesn't have the gloves. So usually what you customize is pretty much from your forehand up and a little bit on top of the hands because the gloves usually stay. That is it for the player armor. So let's look at some weapons. Okay, here we have the PSI Series 2. As you can see, nice rifle, a lot of detail there. And if we turn on the wireframe, you can see how much is dedicated to certain parts, especially this parts right here where it's a rounded surface. Round surface are usually the ones that get the most polys, but you can see how everything is constructed around here. Lots of triangles because it's hard surface and you just need to optimize to make sure that your bakes go pretty well. But there is a lot of here that was done with geometry instead of normal maps just so you can have that super high quality weapons. You can see that the weapon follows the same way that uh, it's everything is done inside the uh, armor. So the zero one space is not fully occupied by one texture. The weapons are actually divided into like the front, the back, the stock and a bunch of like customizations on stuff on the on the top part. So as promised in the beginning, we have a cool, unique weapon, which is the Ace of Space. I believe this is K6's gun and uh, you can see Pretty nice overall, very cool shape. You can see all the details with the texturing in the areas where it catches the light. And if we go and we look at the wireframe, you can see that there's plenty of geometry and plenty of beveling just so the light catches those edges and makes this gun look amazing. So Destiny 2, do you want to see more about this game? Uh, we can look at some enemies and some of the big bosses and everything. If you'd like to see that, leave me a comment uh, down in the comment section. Also leave me a like because nowadays is more important than ever that uh, we have engagement on our videos. Otherwise the video doesn't go out. So make sure you leave a like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching all the way to this point. I'll see you in the next one.